A rare disease is a disease that affects fewer than 200,000 Americans. So individually, these diseases are rare, uh, but then collectively they affect actually over 30 million Americans. Many rare diseases are genetic diseases, uh, which means they arise because of a, a mutation or, you know, you can think of it as a spelling mistake in the DNA sequence. Genes have um, these protein coding sequences known as exons. And so for them to be recognized properly is pretty much the most important aspect of, you know, correct gene expression. So when mutations are introduced or something goes wrong with how a gene is expressed, there's a possibility that those protein coding sequences, those exons, can be misplaced. A lot of these misplacings are linked to the etiology of rare diseases, including cancers. Many RNAs uh, contain information that ultimately are used by a machine in the cell called the ribosome to synthesize protein molecules that are important for a wide range of cellular functions. And in the case of toxic RNA, if the RNA is not spliced correctly, that can either lead to that protein not being made at all in the cell, or sometimes a different version of that protein is made that actually can be quite toxic to the cell and introduce negative impacts. Basically, you have an exon and another exon down here, and maybe it's in, in between an intron. And essentially what needs to happen is that the intron needs to be removed and those exons have to be put together and this will happen for all the other exons that may exist in the gene to be put in such a way that the message will encode for that specific protein. And so an antisense oligonucleotide, or an ASO uh, for short, uh, refers to a short piece of uh, RNA that targets a very specific target RNA in the cell, allowing it to bind with a high degree of specificity. The goal of the ASO design is to actually bind to that um, mutated RNA and somehow rescue its normal function. What's really amazing about ASO therapeutics is they have this built-in potential to be a personalized therapy which is specific for every patient, which is what we need and what we need for rare diseases, right? And what we've been struggling with for rare diseases, you know, because they're rare and they're different from each other, how can we develop a treatment for all of them? But ASOs, you know, provide us with that opportunity because it's the same technology, but you can, by varying the sequence, you can target, you know, different rare diseases at the same time. A traditional ASO discovery process can be thought of as a very linear process where you're thinking of, I'm going to design ASOs to really tile across a very specific target. You can have hundreds and hundreds of designs and, you know, it, it could take a lot of work to identify something that can actually be useful. So we hope that with Paterna, using RNA structure as a guide to help inform uh, design decisions that will help accelerate the discovery of potential targets. I think an effective ASO therapeutic will be an absolute game changer because it's not about improved treatments. It's gonna be the first really real hope that's available for many of these diseases. Can we leverage um, crowdsourcing and the collective intelligence of the public to help expedite the discovery of therapeutics that can benefit patients who need them. If there's one thing that I've learned so far working with the Eterna development team is that working with Eterna is not such a directed process but that you just want to plant a seed of an idea and allow the community to nurture that seed. It's hard to predict exactly what I expect to happen I, I, but I do look forward to seeing how the project unfolds. I'm very grateful uh, for this initiative and for all the bright minds who are going to be involved in this and I think together we can really make a, a huge difference.